In this video, I will talk about spring wellness based on traditional Chinese medicine theories. It will be a two-part series because spring is a very dynamic season which has a lot to cover. This is part one which I will share um, self-care tips, what to watch out for, and um, how to manage our emotions during springtime. For food and Chinese herbs, it will be covered in part two which will be released in about a week. Hi everyone, welcome to Chinese Herbal Pantry. My name is Shirley. I'm a Chinese medicine practitioner and a pharmacist in Australia. In Australia, spring equinox just happened probably about a week ago. So we are officially entering into springtime. Although in Australia, spring started on 1st of September, um, I probably won't go to the debate why certain country um, start on 21st or 22nd of the month, but Australia starts on the first day of the month. Nonetheless, astronomically speaking, spring equinox marks the arrival of spring. As I mentioned in the previous winter wellness video, the concept of yang shen, which means nurturing our health, has a very strong emphasis on living in harmony with the rhythm of the nature. One of the experts is actually to understand the four seasons and live accordingly. Due to the modern technology advances, we have heater for the winter, we have refrigerator, global food change that really give us all the convenience that we want to live and eat however that we want, irregardless of the time of the year. So we are less in tune with the four seasons, unlike our ancestors who solely rely on understanding of the time for survival. If we pay more attention to the changes of the four seasons and if we adjust the way that we live and eat accordingly, we are actually nurturing our health in the most natural way and possibly in a very powerful way. So in this video, I will focus on spring. Uh, my apology to the audience who live in the Northern Hemisphere that we actually have um, opposite seasons. So please save this video for your future references. Okay, let's get started. So the topic is spring wellness. Um, as I mentioned, it will be two part series. Today, we're just going to go through the first part, which is self care tips, what to watch out for, and how to manage our emotion. So how do we nurture our health during springtime? You probably have seen this before in my last um, presentations about uh, winter wellness. I talked about these sections which is for autumn and winter, and we nourish our yin. And now we jump from here to these sections. So because of the jump, um, that's why um, spring, it's quite dynamic. So I will take more time for me to go through with you. So just be a bit patient with me. So during spring and summer, we nourish our yang. We focus on grow, we focus on going outward, flourishing and using our energy to grow. In the very um, ancient, classical, traditional Chinese medicine textbook, it's called Yellow Emperor's Inner Classics, Huang Di Nei Jing. There's quite a number of chapters in this book talked about healthcare um, during season. Um, this is the paragraph that I pull out. It says, I read it very quickly. The three months of spring. This is the time referred to as birthing, sprouting, and spreading. The heaven and earth generate life and the myriad things are flourishing. Go to bed late at night and rise early. Take luxuries walk in the courtyard with long strides. Loosen the hair, wear loose clothes, and relax the bodies, thereby cause the mind to orient itself with the spring energy. Give life and do not kill. Donate and do not take. Reward and do not punish. This is responding to the chi of spring and the way of nurturing birthing, sprouting, hence nurturing one's health. If you go against it, you will injure the liver. As a result, in summer, you will contract cold syndrome and there's little to support growth. I summarize it for you in the next couple of slides, so we will go to the next one quickly first. So this is the five element chart. Um, I'm sorry for those who don't have a lot of basic understanding of traditional Chinese medicine, do bear with us. Please listen with an open heart and then um, I will explain some of the concept more in depth in other videos. So we will look at these sections here. 
So this is spring. So spring is correspond to wood and green color. And liver and gallbladder are related to this element. So when I talk about liver and gallbladder, it's the Chinese medicine um, liver and gallbladder. It is not the liver that you think about in the Western medicine. So uh, you don't have to go to your GP and tell them to give you a liver function test. Um, we don't think about it that way. It's more holistic system. So I call it a liver organ system. It is in relation to sour taste, tendon, and the emotion related to it is anger. Yeah. So let's get to the spring self-care tips. The first is rise early with the sun, rest and go to bed when the night falls. So basically this is like living in accordance with the rhythm of the nature. Spring we um, has a longer daylight hour. So when the sun rises, we get up. When the sun sets, we rest and go to bed. Spend more time in the nature, take brisk walk for fresh air. I understand with the COVID now, it's, sometimes it's kind of hard to travel far to it any nature but having said that just outdoor in the sun and outdoor um, for fresh air it is like giving our body the space for the young rising especially if you live in a very small house or larger family you need the space for the young chi to rise going outdoor is also a good way to we say like absorb the um, young rising um, in the nature we kind of absorbing the young chi in our body and wear loose clothes. So it is good during springtime to wear loose clothes, not to wear very tight clothes because that's kind of constrain our body, restraining the chi to rise. Next is to live generously. Because um, if you read at the text here, it's I really love this philosophy of life, like give life and do not kill, donate and do not take, reward and do not punish. So it is very important um, during springtime to be kind to ourselves, be generous with ourselves, as well as to others. We reward, we do not punish, we give um, within our own means, both materialistically and spiritually. During springtime, it's also important to do um, scratching exercises because in the five element, it's talked about the tendon, it corresponds to springtime. So it is good that we um, have more stretching especially in COVID world where we very constrained in our own home, um, especially those who have to work from home. So sometimes we forget that we do need to have a bit of stretching. So that's why it's good to remind us that every hour or so we get up for walk even just within the house and do simple stretching both on the arms and the legs. But of course we will do so gently, not overboard. Because during winter time, our body are so stagnant because of the cold, our body just naturally contract. So springtime is the time that we get back the flexibility. And it is also a good time to detox and lose weight because that's when, um, like I say, um, the young chi is rising. It's kind of will start cleansing up. If we do try to detox and lose weight during this time, it's actually probably will get very positive effect. And because it's spring, it's like New Year, yeah? So um, it is a good time to learn new hobby. Um, the, something that express ourselves. It's also part of the um, young, um, the spring energy. Start something new. Um, do something that lights you up. Next, it's find ways to manage our anger and emotion because as we've seen in the five element chart, spring is relate to anger. This is the time that we feel more easily irritated because um, the heat, the warm and the chi is rising. We just get a little bit more sensitive to the angry emotion. Not only the anger, it's also the emotion. It's when winter, everything is kind of stored inside and now it's all coming out again. So including the emotions. So it's important to learn ways to stay positive. So similarly, if we manage all this emotion well, it is actually a good time to cleanse our emotion, to understand where they're coming from, find ways to resolve it. We don't have to suppress it during this time. Um, it is okay when it um, rises. When you suppress, that's when we again start to constrain it. So this might be a good time to start a meditation routine, breathing exercises, practice good sleep hygiene. So when those emotions come up, we have a way to manage it just like 
we know taking a deep breath is always good before it starts to explode. We know maybe we could walk away for that three to five minutes to let the mind to calm down. So what to watch out for, which I already mentioned, feeling angry and emotional. We may have trouble falling asleep as just too many thoughts all rising and coming up to the head. And that's why just now I mentioned to practice good sleeping hygiene. So sleep hygiene means that to have an environment that is calming, less stimulating um, objects in the bedroom, such as um, don't play with our phone just before we go to bed and don't watch TV or drama that is too mind stimulating. One thing is to watch out for wind or any windy condition. Although it doesn't mention in the classical text or not even in the five element chart, but as a traditional Chinese medicine practitioner, we say the liver is relating to the wind. When the liver is not healthy enough, we are less successful to windy condition. Having said that, even in Western medicine, we know springtime is a hay fever season. So when the wind blow, it blow up all the pollens and um, causing a lot of allergies and hay fever. So when we go out, um, we need to take the precautions. Um, when the wind is blowing towards us, we don't walk towards it. And next is practicing Chun Wu. Chun means spring, Wu means covering. So usually we get too overly excited when the winter is over, spring is here, we quickly pack away all our um, warm clothing, we pack away our thick blanket. Actually in the early day of the spring when the weather hasn't been fully settled into the warmer weather, we might have a few days of um, happy sunny days. We probably will encounter quite a lot of like cold windy day as well in, in the early spring. So it is important that we not change to thin um, bedding or blankets too quickly or shed off like warm clothing too early in the springtime. We will do so, we just do so very gradually. And the Huang Ding Jing also say if you go against it, which is all the principle or the lifestyle recommendation um, it mentioned, you will injure the liver. Once again, it's the um, liver in traditional Chinese medicine, not the Western medicine liver. As a result, in summer, you will contract cold syndrome and there's little to support growth. This is because during summertime, it's when the growth, the true growth, growth will come. When you do not look after yourself during springtime, there's nothing to support you to grow. And it say it will contract the cold syndrome. This is because if you look at the five element chart. So this is spring and we'll go into summer in these sections. And in summertime, it's where the element is the fire element. So we need the wood to generate the fire. Yeah. So without the wood, if the wood is not healthy, you can't generate the fire. When the fire is not there, then that's when you will feel colder than normal. That's why we say contract the cold syndrome, not necessary, it's a common cold. Um, it's just that you don't have the fire um, to grow during the summertime. So this is what it means about um, you contract the cold syndrome and that's little to support the growth. So it is very important to look out after ourselves according to what I just mentioned. Um, of course, nothing is um, black and white. Um, those are just only suggestions. You do so according to your body. So when you listen to your body, you know what are the best self-care tips um, suit you the best. These are only general recommendations. So I'm going to leave it um, like that for now and to conclude today. So happy spring and look after yourself for those who are living in the Southern Hemisphere. The next video will um, release in about a week or so. I will cover the um, food section, which is this one. Um, just give you a teaser now. And if you like the slide that I made, um, if you want to get a copy, you can head over to my newly launched new website to grab a copy. Um, it will be sent directly to your inbox. And um, I will keep, I'll send you the full copy so you get the second part of it as well. So you get to um, have a quick look at what will be covered in the part two. And don't forget to follow and like and share 
um, with my videos. I will also see you in my other social platforms. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in a, a week for the part two sections. Thank you. Bye.